As an employer, you want your employees to take risks. You want them to take on those new initiatives. How do you create an environment within your organization where they can do that, where they can step forward and raise their hand? As the employee leading these projects, how are you going to manage that risk? How are you going to manage your career? In that data set of over 1,000 corporate ventures, 78% of them fail. 78%. They no longer exist seven to 10 years later. So as an employer, if you knew that 78% of these initiatives were going to fail, what would you do differently? That's the reality. And if I had known that 15 years ago as I entered this career, I would have done things different. We all have common responses to fear. We retreat to our comfort zone. We exhibit defensive behaviors. We avoid conflict. We come out attacking, right? It's not my fault, it's their fault. Or worse yet, we start playing not to lose. You want your employees ready to step up and take on the initiative. If the negative consequences outweigh the good, they'll start playing not to lose. Having been with organizations that are focused on innovation, I understand the employee's concern. If I step forward and take on this risky initiative, what's going to happen? Might I lose that promotion? Might I lose that bonus? Might I even lose my job? Organizations have to be willing to address that risk, that fear the employees have before the initiatives start. To show a, a stern response to a failed initiative, soon you'll be left with an organization where people aren't willing to step up and take those risks. Organizations that are gonna grow need to have risk takers. They need to be cultured and nurtured within the environment. Risk taking starts and stops with the individual. We have to address this issue of failure if we want them to take risks, to take on those new initiatives, to grow the company.